Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I wanted to record this video blog for a while about why I think YouTube is a terrific platform to be on even in this advanced year of 2022 when being on the internet and being on platforms is no longer something new or that's really going to distinguish you from many people. But I still think that being on YouTube, even if you have no intention of making money, in other words, of monetizing your uh, YouTube channel, I think it's really, really worth doing personally. And I wanted to talk about those reasons in this video. So the first thing I want to say about YouTube monetization is I'm a really, really small creator at the time I'm recording this video. I have something like 540, they're about subscribers. So as everybody who watches this channel can see, I'm not monetized. I'm currently not making any money from YouTube. That may change in the future, but at this particular junction in time, I'm completely fine with that. I never started YouTube in order to try to make money from YouTube. And I'm going to talk just a little bit about why I started YouTube, but primarily it had to do with fun. I wanted to have fun and I also wanted to learn about video. So I think those are two worthwhile objectives, but I want to give a three-part breakdown of why I think it's great to be on YouTube even if uh, you don't plan on making money. So my first reason that I think that starting a YouTube channel, even if you don't plan on making money, is actually a really great idea is because it's a lot of fun to make a YouTube channel. So something that I always feel uncomfortable with is that in the modern world we live in, side hustles are glorified. And there's this kind of um, idea that kind of permeates that everything has to be monetized. We have to try to make money from everything. And I think that that is a really problematic and if I may say so kind of an obnoxious concept uh, whatever happened to hobbies why don't we insist that people who play tennis or people who jog monetize their jogging or their tennis playing and I think video is the same if video is something I'm making video that brings you a lot of joy I don't see any reason why external people and that's something that I personally encountered when I'm going out shooting my YouTube videos whether I'm shooting in public place or whatever, people will come up to me and say, oh, what are you shooting video for? And I say, oh, I have a small YouTube channel. And they say, oh, they, they immediately jump to money. They're like, oh, you must be making so much money or you can make so much money from YouTube or, or that. And I always find that kind of uncomfortable. I'm like, um, that's not really my plan. I'm just doing this for fun. So I think it's kind of messed up that we live in a society where um, it seems odd that people can just create videos and share videos uh, just for fun because that's what YouTube is fantastic at. It's an amazing platform for hosting and sharing videos and people also forget that YouTube is not just a great video hosting platform, it's also a social network and it allows you to connect with other people making videos. The second reason I think it's worthwhile being on YouTube, even if you don't aspire to make money or that's not something on your radar at all, as it currently for me it isn't, is that the indirect benefits that uh, you can accrue through YouTube I think are pretty significant. So a couple of ones I've experienced, well, firstly, it's an amazing way to kickstart relationships. Before I decided that I really wanted to learn about video and started putting videos on YouTube, uh, my background is originally in journalism and I did a lot of writing and blogging and stuff like that over the years in addition to, to paid work. Something I really know or that really strikes me about video is that if you compare your commenters to stuff that if you post a blog and people comment and uh, you compare that to the comments you get on a YouTube channel, people who encounter you through YouTube or the medium of video really, really feel like they know you. That really jumps out to me. It's called, I believe, a parasocial relationship. And I think that's actually a good thing. It's initially can feel a little bit weird when people tell you, oh, they've been following your videos and, uh, and uh, you, know, you know that they can see you and they can hear you. It's more you're putting more of yourself out there than if you're just writing a blog or just using text as your format. But I think that that's actually an enormous positive because and video is just showing more of yourself. So that's a big thing. Um, I, even though this is a very small YouTube channel, I have crossed 500 subscribers, but that's still in YouTube broad language, really, really small. I still get like kind of four or five emails a week. I have my email listed um, in the about tab of this channel and people reach out to me. They ask me questions about their home networking gear and if I have time uh, to respond or respond to those emails. Sometimes people just reach out to say, oh, we're enjoying your videos or this video really uh, you know, was useful to me. And of course, people leave comments as well. I don't get a large volume of comments, but I get enough that kind of encourages me that, hey, people are actually watching these videos and I find that super cool. 
Final fringe benefit I've encountered, I'm at the level of scale that nobody's going to do sponsored videos with me. But nevertheless, I have got a couple of uh, small pieces of hardware from tech manufacturers who've asked me to write about their products. Typically, the uh, deal is you have to return it after testing it. Uh, but now and again, you'll get something and they say, oh, you can keep this or you'll work some kind of a uh, benefit with the manufacturer. So basically, if you have a niche or a niche as the Americans call it, it'll get you on the radar of people on the industry. So besides a person to person relationships, you'll also build up relationships with brands from having a presence on YouTube. So depending on uh, what you're doing or what you want to talk about on YouTube, I think that can be a really powerful benefit too. Final reason I think that it's great to be on YouTube. Uh, besides YouTube, personally, I think it's a great fun, it's terrific learning experience, and it's an amazing catalyst for building up your network and deepening relationships, or building relationships, building relationships for that matter, is I think that video is a great skill to have. And this is another one of my uh, main motivators, I would say, for uh, starting a YouTube channel has been to learn video. That's been something very intentional for me. That's why my YouTube channel Right now, it kind of has no direction and I sort of intend in time to splinter from this channel with my name onto specific uh, topic related channels. Um, but learning video has been a big thing for me. And I think I work in uh, marketing communications. That's my day job is doing uh, communications for people. And coming from a writing background, I did actually go to journalism school. I have a master's degree in journalism. And one of the modules that we had was broadcast. And when it came to broadcast, we could either do video or audio. And I chose uh, to do audio because I thought that video was a self-confidence thing. I thought that video was too expensive. I thought that it was too complicated. And I think that what YouTube has done, and it's a great thing, is it's made it accessible for people to get into video. It's made it really easy. If you just want to shoot videos on your phone, upload videos to YouTube and send them to your friends, it's really easy. Anyone can do it. Uh, but I've kind of tried to use it as an opportunity to really learn the depths of video, sound and lighting. There is a ton of amazing content on YouTube uh, from people who are experts in the field. I'm currently watching a lot of Curtis Judd's videos. He's a sound guy, he's unbelievable. Um, but basically I try to integrate what I learn from the experts on YouTube and slowly bring that into my own production. So um, having come from a kind of writing background in journalism and writing being the kind of pigeonhole I've been put into in my professional career, um, adding video to my resume or having that as a skill um, is proving really, really useful because I can, I can, you know, I know enough that I can do uh, video interviews for clients now and I see all marketing uh, moving in the direction of video. It's definitely going towards short video, but it's a terrific skill to have. And another thing I really, really like about learning video as a skill is that it's very multifaceted and it's a big learning curve. There's an awful lot to learn versus say uh, just starting a blog. Um, some of the subjects I've touched on so far, well, I'm learning a ton about cameras. I'm learning about sound and microphones. I'm learning the basics of lighting. I'm learning video editing. And now I'm trying to learn about uh, graphics as well, like uh, graphic animations. There's just so much to learn. I mean, you can really go on and on with skills that are useful in the video production process, including pre-production, storyboarding, planning, post-production, distribution, uh, technical stuff, storytelling stuff. There's a great amount to learn. And um, I think that for anybody who is similarly working in marketing communications and uh, has come from either a writing background or more of an audio background, I think that starting your own YouTube channel uh, partially for the reason of learning video um, is another great reason and it's one that I've uh, already benefited from so far. Those are my three reasons why I think that even if you've no intention of making money on YouTube, it's still a really good idea, even in the year 2022, to start a YouTube channel, get on YouTube, uh, put out your first videos. My videos so far, they've been a, there, there have been a few nicely produced ones, other ones have been not so great, but I'm really enjoying the process. Perhaps one day I'll pass the 1000 subscriber level and monetize, perhaps it'll never happen and I'll never make a cent from YouTube at this point in my journey, it really doesn't matter to me either way. I've already built up relationships with YouTube, I've already learned about video, and I've already had a lot of fun. So from my perspective, I've already reached a positive return on investment uh, from starting a YouTube channel without having made a cent. Uh, I hope this video was uh, enjoyable, interesting, informative, and if you would like to get more videos from me, please uh, hit the subscribe button. And thank you guys very much for watching.